Banned from smoking on your own balcony. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee and I want to look at this article sent to me by a viewer from realestate.com.au about a unit owner barred from smoking on their balcony. Okay, can't even smoke on your own balcony, everyone. So let, let's have a look at this one. Now, I'm not a fan of smoking. It's kind of a disgusting habit. It's a waste of money. Uh, I understand it's you know, people getting addicted to it. My mother recently quit smoking for the first time in her entire life. Smoking 10 a day. Got to the point where she was actually um, you know, making her own Rawleys. So it's to save money. I didn't realize how expensive cigarettes were. I still had it in my mind that a carton was 50 bucks, like a carton. But no, 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 Florian's out of date. <laughs> you could get a house mortgage. You could pay a loan for if you smoked a carton a week. Okay? So if, you, if you're bitching about not being able to get into housing, but you smoke, there's a way to save money right there, guys. And you probably won't even be allowed to smoke in your unit anymore. <laughs> so let, let's look at this. A unit owner has been barred from lighting up on their own balcony in a game-changing watchdog decision that will now make it easier to ban smoking on apartment terraces, experts say. The body corporate and community management has barred a unit owner in RTQ Resort, Surface Paradise, from smoking any tobacco products on their balcony following a complaint from an owner of an apartment on the floor directly above. Oh, boy. That's, this is the thing when you live in these type of apartments. You're not just living by yourself. You've got to deal with all these other people that you're living in. You've got the little body corporate Napoleons there sitting there. It's, it's not something that is attractive to me in the slightest. Uh, I would much rather have a freestanding house. And sure, you've got neighbors to deal with, but that's a lot better, to be honest. You make friends with them. I mean, think about this. Smoke, oh, the aggravated residents on the ninth floor claimed her eighth floor neighbor was a chain smoker and the smoke entered her unit was relentless and unbearable, the December 21 ruling stated. The ban has been based on secondhand smoke being a hazard and the complainant had provided sufficient evidence as to the volume and frequency of the smoke drift, the adjudicator wrote. The adjudicator stated, There was insufficient evidence to prove the secondhand smoke was a nuisance but enforcing a ban on the grounds of smoking being a hazard is a, a systemic change, said the former BCCM commissioner, Chris Irons. Before the ruling, complainants had to gather evidence to prove smoking was a nuisance, and it was nigh impossible, Mr. Irons said. It was very difficult to prove that smoke drifting into your apartment was a nuisance, but this decision means you only need to show it as a hazard and that changes everything. So he now acts as a body corporate consultant. There are a lot of people who can now take action who couldn't before. I mean, maybe they should just have buildings that are purely for smokers and those for non-smokers. Wow. This is, this is the thing. This is a habit. The government are milking you for tax dollars if you're smoking, guys. Most of what you're paying is taxes. You've got to quit. Save the money. Don't, don't pay them the taxes. In their defense, the 8th floor smoker claimed they were not hurting anybody, that they could smoke anywhere on her property, that they could not control the direction the wind blows, and objected to being dictated to. Well, you shouldn't have bought in a uh, apartment complex. There you go. That, that's, this is a little, little socialist environment, these type of things. They also stated that they had a disability and going downstairs was out of the question. Asked why the complainant could not buy a fan, and then that day, too, had cigarette smoke, marijuana smoke, barbecue smoke, strong perfume smells waft into their unit. Ah, the joys of, of uh, communal living. The adjudicator stated that the owners and occupiers within a community title scheme do not have unfettered rights and are bound by body corporate bylaws. Although smoking is not inherently illegal, controls exist on smoking in many contexts within the community because of its potential harm to others, they wrote in the decision. In effecting the ruling, in effect, the ruling has lowered the bar on the proof required to stop smoking on balconies, said Strata Community Association President Christy Knast. 
Previously, communities had tried and failed to see smoking on balconies ruled a nuisance. This adjudication is the biggest change to body corporate law in Queensland in the past two decades and will make it much easier for communities to ban smoking on balconies. All they will have to do is prove that smoke drifts from one balcony to another. The eighth floor resident is permitted, however, to smoke within their apartment but needs to take reasonable steps to make sure smoke drift does not affect neighbouring lots, the adjudicator wrote. In delivering the finding, the adjudicator took aim at the body corporate for not making a submission on the dispute and that it had a statutory obligation to enforce bylaws. If it, the body corporate, were unsure if the bylaw had been breached, it could have asked the applicant for more evidence to assist it in making a decision, they wrote. However, I do not consider that it could fail to act simply because it thought it was not its responsibility to decide if the bylaw had been breached or that it was just a matter between residents. There you go. The body corporate manager was contacted for comment and obviously didn't reply. Let's have a talk about this one, guys. This is an interesting one. What do you, what do you reckon? Can't even smoke on your own balcony, eh? What do you, what do, what do we, where do we go from this one? I mean, you're buying in a body corporate. You're buying in a community, guys. You're not buying a property with your own land. If you want the, the more rights and freedoms, you can't live in an apartment. It's, it's that simple. I mean, there you go. Smokers, you need to earn more money to buy a freestanding house or to rent a freestanding house. But then that can even be banned, can't it, from renting? I don't know, guys. Just another another reason to not jump into apartments. Imagine buying one off the plan, losing it, buying another one, having a nightmare, cracking everywhere, and then you can't even light up a smoke to relax when you've got all these issues, when you want to get a bit of relaxation on your own balcony after a hard day at work. It's body corporates. Guys, it's the bylaws they have. It's the rules they have. You've got to live by it. You can bitch and moan, but... That's what you're bought into. I think people don't realize what they're getting into. I think it's a bit funny. I, I, I can understand. I mean, if you're living next to a chain smoker, it, it's horrible, particularly if you're in the floor above or it'll all come into your apartment. It'll ruin your house. We lived next to some hippie guy in, in uh, Kangaroo Point. And this guy, I mean, he was an idiot. He painted the rental house he was in. in and he got cheap paint. It was this purple stuff that was used to... Um, it had a, a sand in it, essentially a gripping compound, so you could paint it around a pool. But he got it cheap, and he painted this guy's Queenslander in this grippy, bloody paint. So he had to get painters to come in and strip it, and they were just using so much sanding to get this stuff off because they were literally sanding sandpaper paint. And the idiot, this, this guy, would sit there, and he'd smoke stuff, like out in the backyard. He'd have a big smoker, and he'd be smoking it, and we'd get wood chip smells through all, all our entire house next to it. And all the clothes would be covered in the wood chip smells from his smoking stuff. So yeah, yeah, you know, you've got a you have a duty of care and responsibility to your neighbours if you cause them a nuisance. It's it's like if you've got water on your property and it flows into a neighbour neighbour's property, you can be responsible and liable for that damage that you caused. You have to manage and mitigate that risk. It's just the same. If you don't want it, don't live in apartments, guys. Anyway. There you go. Uh, check out this video here about where $100,000 is just a deposit, not a substantial portion of a property anymore. So, unless you get a unit, but if you're a smoker, you wouldn't want one, would you? <laughs>